It was stupid of me to come to Hawaii, to come all this way just to realize what I've always known. No matter what you said about ending it, Cruz, I know that there's no other choice. You're the man I've always loved. And I've got to be with you again. Hey, Kelly. Hey, what are you doing here? Wedding doesn't start for another few hours. Yeah, I've just been feeling restless today. I thought I might uh, drop on by, see how things are coming along. Well, they're coming along all right. Except for Mason. Can't believe how obnoxious he was last night. You know, I felt for Santana. Me too. You don't look too happy. Well, you know, I'd like to be feeling happy if I could uh, find somebody to feel happy for, but I just can't seem to. Well, listen, I came to thank you for helping Nick out with the book. How's that? Well, for lending him the money. I mean, Cruz, I haven't seen him this happy in ages. Thank you so much. I don't, I think you misunderstand. I, I didn't lend him the money. He asked me for a loan. I told him I just didn't have the cash right now. I mean, I would have helped, you know, if he can just wait until I sell my house, what? I can probably... No, Nick told me... Chris, listen, um, I'll talk to you later, okay? Well, I gotta... Well, no, wait a second. I... Help. Oh. You gotta let go of it. You gotta accept this. You have no other choice. It's a very hectic schedule. I can imagine. Santana Cruz proposed to you this morning and you turned him down. And what business is that of yours? Look, I know you're intent on marrying Mason. I'm sorry, but... why? Cece. Why? Because Cruz isn't over your daughter, and I don't think he can ever be. No, you're wrong. You are very wrong. He happens to be over Eden. You see, he went the other day to Hawaii to tell Azo about that he's given up the fight. I know all about that trip to Hawaii, and I don't believe for a moment that any romance, especially a romance as strong and alive as Cruz and Eden's, can end just because someone says so. Santana, situations change. Things happen. Uh, I'm afraid something has happened for Cruz. What are you talking about? I gather he didn't tell you, but I see no reason to keep it a secret at this point. Eden is pregnant with Kirk's baby. She's pregnant? I'm sure you can comprehend that Cruz is not the kind of man to interfere in something like this. No. That's why he came to you. Because he knows it's... It's over between him and Eden. It, I'm sorry, Santana. It's that simple. And you thought that would change everything? Well, it doesn't. It makes it worse. 
Because Cruz only came to me because Eden is pregnant. Nothing has changed. Eden is still Cruz's first choice. Mary is Mason's first choice. Have you changed your mind? No, I wanted to see you so I could give you a piece of my mind. You lied to me. What? You lied to me about Hawaii and why you gave up on Eden. You gave up on Eden because you found out that she was pregnant with Kirk's child. Cece told me that, yeah. He told me. He told me, obviously hoping that I'd come running back to you, but his little plan has backfired. How could he do that? I knew that I... there was more to it than that. It's only because you realized that the situation was hopeless that you're able to say that you gave up. Well, say whatever you want, because you love Eden. You love Eden more than you ever did. Oh, I guess I'm trying to listen to me. You're lying to yourself, and you're lying to me. Cece dumped this on me. He told me that Eden was pregnant in confidence and made me swear that I'd tell nobody else. She doesn't even know. This is the thanks I get for keeping my promise to him. Well, now, listen, if, if, if I could have told anybody, I would have told you. Cruz, it doesn't matter, because what you're saying is only reinforcing my decision to marry Mason. At least with Mason, he only tells the truth, even when it hurts. Women, don't start comparing me to Mason because I am a fool for trying to get close to you. I am a fool. Hey, get a hold of yourself and listen to me. Now, I want you to leave. I've got to get into my wedding gown right now, and I'm already late as it is. Now, get out. at his beach house where well, there's no one at the station who might know where he is well um yes no i think that um i'm gonna surprise him instead <laughs> thank you sergeant so long <laughs> Santana, where are you? Maybe she came to her senses. Maybe she's not going to show. Hey, lady, slow down a minute. Get out of my way. I'm late, Chris. You've been crying. I haven't been crying. You look lovely. Listen, uh, I've been thinking, and uh, if you don't want to marry me, I mean, I can understand that. I guess. I, but it doesn't mean that you have to marry Mason. I am not listening to you. There must be a hundred thousand ways to get Brandon back short of doing that. If we put our heads together, we could think of one of them. I'm sure. I don't want to hear this. I think you need to hear it. What do you expect me to do? I'm going to stand here and watch while you throw your life away? Is that it? No, I can't take this. Wait. This isn't even the right floor. Santana, wait. Bruce, will you just leave me alone? You stop for one second and talk to me about this. I need this. 